Hello and welcome back everyone to our Rocket Rabbit run of Omega Ruby Randomizer and in this episode we'll be taking on the Team Magma Grunts Horde battle. Supposedly they have a horde of Puchiana, but look! There's a Flygon, a Larvesta, an Oddish, <laughs> an Obama Snow, and a Buizel. This is to well, I mean they're all they're all punies though. Yeah. Alright, so now use explosion actually what we would want to be what we would want to do in this scenario is use surf but yeah surf so Birdo, bulldoze um, earthquake or pedal blizzard i think pedal blizzard would work too i was gonna say, no not pebble dance um dang that's a tough one Bl Bl blizzard uh blizzard likely works i'm not entirely sure Oh, my voice, Father. Together, we will defeat this gigantic chicken. Trust in me. <laughs> Crush grip. That is the signature attack of Regigigas, my fa one of my favorite legendaries. Round. Round is actually a really, really good uh, uh, gimmick attack. Um, especially in Horde... Especially if... Uh, in a, if... If we actually had the ability to play Horde battles, you know, on our own terms, Round would be one of the best goddamn things to spec into. Because you see, rounded doubles in base power depending on how many other Pokemon are using it. Ah, I see. Um, and I noticed the musical animation, so I believe that Jesus Christ. So I believe the the reference they were making is that round is um, it's a genre of music that was developed probably around like the it, it goes it goes back maybe like four or five hundred years uh, in Europe, possibly. Um, one voice starts the verse they, uh, they proceed to line two when they start on line two the next voice starts on line one that's called the round the first singer proceeds to line three the second singer proceeds to line two a new voice then joins in on line one and so on and they keep and they keep adding voices until the verse is complete hence row 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 your boat row 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 your boat row <laughs> your boat Gently down the stream. Row, 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 merrily, row merrily, your boat. Merrily, 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 merrily. <laughs> Night, Oracle. Finish this off. Yes, there's strength in numbers. That's why there's weakness in isolation. Destroy him. Damn it! Our muddy water. Beast. You got first strike. <laughs> but he sacrificed speed in order to get the preemptive strike. Yeah, Oracle has three different. Uh, has three different moves that all that hit all targets in horde in a horde battle. It's very nice. Thank you, Oracle. Well, I mean, they never said that five against one was a fair fight. Oh no, you got. Oh us. no, you got. But they just finished each other's sentences. Ha ha ha! We lost. It's odd. Oh, thank God they stopped finishing each other's sentences. Mm, all right, we're going to go heal up, and then we'll go take down Courtney again. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Welcome to the base. Who find the place cozy yet? They'll never find us. Mm, well, that is the hope. I, um, I, I always liked that about Pokemon. The, the game within the game. Do you fight the trainer, or do you use your knowledge of the game and its rotating characters in order to avoid trainer battles? For a, um, for a majority of the uh, of the uh, en enemy, uh, for a majority of the uh, ma mafia team or uh, whatever you want to call them dungeons, I actually prefer to uh, dodge a majority of the encounters. Bites me in the ass uh, for for this run, not because I'm under leveled or anything, but because I wanted to actually have a complete dex, and uh, now I can't have a complete dex because I don't know where certain Pokemon are. I would um, I, I would I would chalk that up to just the sheer astronomical probability that you actually will see everybody. Right. Because, I mean, you gotta, fi you, you gotta figure, with every new Pokemon you see, the probability of seeing a new Pokemon decreases. Yes, it does. So then you spend the rest of eternity searching for the very last Igglybuff that you did not see through the entire game. <laughs> no, we've seen Igglybuff already, so there. <laughs> No, one of the big things that we're actually missing is Charmeleon, and we will not see Charmeleon. Well, 
at least I think it's Charmeleon Char. that we're missing. No, no, no. We, we've seen it. We've definitely yeah, we, seen it. Yeah, we saw Charmeleon. Char. Shit, I forget who um, we're actually missing. Damn. Ce Ce Celebi? Um, I'm pretty sure we saw Celebi relatively early on. I mean, we, seen, we saw Jirachi. I, re I remember seeing him. And we've seen Deoxys. It's weird. We saw... We've seen a lot of the legendaries that are a lot more Lilliputian than their grander counterparts like Groudon or uh, Reg or Regigigas. I mean, Rayquaza. I keep getting those two confused. We've seen Rayquaza, and I'm pretty Ray sure... Rayquaza. <laughs> well, his name is a pun on Quasar, so that's why. I don't even know what a Quasar is. <laughs> it's a space term. Technically, it's an, uh, technically it's an atomic chemistry term, but... Captain Quasar, my hero. All in a day's work, madam. Yeah, never fear, Captain Quasar is here. Hi, Courtney. Before you fight Courtney, here, have a max revive. <laughs> also, there's a TM up top that we have to come back for. Can't you see we're having a moment? <laughs> no, Courtney, we are not. Also, you turned the sub into a camera up top. It's all over now. I must stop you. Now, I just want to, with you, I want to engage. I want to analyze. She's, uh... She, she's kind of, she's kind of, they're, they're kind of laying it on thick here. Mm. That, uh... Hi, Resolute Keldeo. That's a cool looking little boxer right there. So will Black Canary be able to stand up to the uh, to the fourth member of the of the Swords of Justice? D K. No. Donkey Kong. D K. Donkey Kong is here. He's the leader of the bunch. You know him well. Oh my God! <laughs> All right. So Jesus, mm. Mother Mary. And he's a dark type. A and it's a dark type. Well, aren't aren't you? And you're dead. Yep. I was I was hoping uh, otherwise, but no, because he did 58. So yeah. All right. So uh, we seem to be in trouble at the moment. Oh uh, no, we're fine. We got Santana. A sham, a sham, a sham, a sham. All right. Well, now we know your secret. You are a dick. Don't worry, Stone and Age. Uh, Stone Age only has one more PP left, so. And it was a critical hit. It, uh, the crit did not matter. <laughs> it, it didn't matter, no. So what I've observed consistently is that this dude has really high attack stats. Yep, very high attack, very high speed. Caldeo is uh, technically the best of the Swords of Justice. It doesn't get the most competitive use, sadly, but. Um, uh, the uh, but no, uh, he his only real competition in that matter it would be between Terrakian and uh, Cobalion. And so, because he had changed his speed stat, he actually went first, allowing the fly evade to work. <laughs> Behold. Thank you, Catwoman. Snuggles. Fuck you, Swoobat. I really should have put Jesse Quick on for this, but I needed a surfer to get in. Well, that was a memorable fa a battle indeed. Yep. Change. The world. I knew it. You are a robot! <laughs> she speaks like a robot, but she's not. I promise. Mission. Dialogue. Truncated by ellipses. All right, so let's come up here to get this TM. So, I, I remember this part. You're, you're supposed to use a dive Pokemon in order to pursue the submersible. Is she blocking us right now? Uh, no. Oh. We don't have a dive Pokemon yet, dude. Uh, specifically because we don't have the, t the HM for dive. We got to go and uh, take down uh, Tate and Liza before we can get dive. Gotcha. But now that, t now that Team Magma has been taken care of uh, here, they're no longer blocking our exit from Lily Cove, allowing us to actually go in, uh, into Moss Deep. They also want us to go and get Pacifilage right now, but we're not going to go and get Pacifilage. 
That's right, because they're because they're fishing for whalers on the shore. And they're training that, whalers that, on the shore. They're training whalers on the shore, and both the whalers and the trainers are causing a physical obstacle from you and Moss Deep. That that I recall. Mm -hmm. So either Team Magma or Team Aqua will occupy the base immediately upwards, depending on who failed to pay the rent last month, and then you immediately gain access to the seventh gym. After we go through this route, of course. My spidey senses are tingling. Oh, free Pokeball. Nice. Not that oh, we that need it, easy. but it's nice. I recall there being more items uh, over here last time. Damn it, it's on It's on the cliff. Cloud, why do they put items on the cliff so far away from where so I am? that you will use the bicycle! <laughs> I'm um, max repel. Not even a good item. Um, they they're putting they there's a reason why they put that next to the ocean. They want you to use max repel in order to get rid of the wild Pokemon encounters with like level 15 tentacle and fucking uh, what's the really common one in this one? Well, um, in Gen 3, it would be tentacle and uh, Wingle and a Wingle. <laughs> My God, the Wingle. For the record, I actually like both of those damn Pokemon. So there. I mean, it's not that I don't like them. I just don't like fighting lots of them in quick succession when I just want to get on with it. <laughs> Thank you, Pascardet. We've uh, commented on that plenty of times already. Roland's got a Wish Cash. I like Wish Cash. Wish Cash is a very interesting uh, water ground Pokemon. Unlike Quagsire, who is terrible, Wish Cash has actually got a uh, bulky and the ability to naturally learn Earthquake, which is something that Quagsire cannot do. What do you mean my Thunderbolt doesn't work on it? It's a fish. It's a big, dumb, smiling fish. Is it a citrus berry? Munch, munch, munch. Nope, a mago berry. Okay. Poison powder. I'm gonna try <laughs> Thunder Bunch. Oh, I ate something funny. <laughs> Yay, super effective. And then he hit us with soak. <laughs> uh, no, now we're water type, which means that his poison powder will almost certainly work. <laughs> Except he has been made fainted. Woot. I never quite registered that he had a crown on his forehead. Well, he is the king of the catfish, after all. I am the Catfish King. <laughs> uh, isn't one of the Legend of Zelda games that one, uh, one of the side quests is to capture the Catfish King? Not in any one that I... W oh, right, right, randomizer. Um, no, not in any, any Legend of Zelda game that I played. Okay. Um, but let, let me see the fish characters that I've run into. I mean, remember Twilight Princess had a had a, had a main quest fish. Uh, Ocarina, everybody knows Ocarina of Time and the Zora King. You have <laughs> legs. Use them. All right. All right. All right. And in the next episode, we will attempt to start up on our quest to go through uh, the Moss Deep Gym in order to uh, take out Tate and Liza. But this is Moss Deep City. That. Moss Deep City is cool. It is actually yeah. a very small town. You, sh you should have been concentrating on secret bases. No, I don't coming, need them. They're, they're coming after you. All right, everybody. Be safe. Peace out, everyone. Whoosh.